Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper, and it's time for some Christmas cards. Alrighty, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to be using the Snowman Season and the Swirly Frames. I'm going to be using just this frame here, and I've already got that mounted on a clear block. It is a photopolymer stamp set, both of them are. And we're going to be using almost every single one of these stamps in here. We're going to build ourselves a snowman, and we are going to do um, a little bit of card work. So I've got in the balmy blue, and we're gonna we're gonna mask today. So I'm gonna just take the balmy blue. I took an eight and a half by eleven sheet, cut it in half at five and a half, and then scored it at four and a quarter. And we've got our balmy blue base there. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Then I've got a sheet of Whisper White. And I've cut that down. This is the thick Whisper White. And I've cut that down to four by five and a quarter. So I took a quarter inch off. And that's what we're going to be working with. So first things first, let's just do some of our stamping. I've got the frame. Again, let me show you that frame. It's a swirly frame. And I'm going to use the Memento ink on this. I'm just going to ink that guy up real good. And we're just going to place a frame. So however this comes out, we're going to be fine with it. I'm going to make it toward the top here. And just lay that flat down, pushing straight down. There we go. We've got a great little frame to put our snowman in. And then... While I have that out, let's just take our little snowman here. We're going to kind of put him up here a little bit. Perfect. Let's go ahead and clean that off. Let's see here. Just going to use the chamois to get that all cleaned off so we can move into the next item. And the next item we're going to do while we have it is, well, I'm going to need him again, but let's go ahead and get his little arms. I'm just going to put the arm like this. It's so sticky. So, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stick the arm on there. And I can use the same, but he's got two arms, so we'll go ahead and do that. Get this one down there. Again, it might be a little sticky there. There we go. And we're going to ink that guy up. Place that right down. And there we go. He's got his arms. I'm clean that one off because we are definitely done with that one. And then I'm going to get a hat out. And it's his little hat that we're going to put on him. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do some masking. So I'm going to take that hat and put 
put that right there. And then I'm going to take this hat. Oh, nope, I don't need to take that hat yet. Got ahead of myself. We have to prepare the first mask to do the second mask. So you can see we didn't need any masking here because we're going to put those right inside of his body. But on this one, we do need a mask. So I have this one saved for this mask. And then I'm going to take this one, and I know the sticky side is over here. So I'm going to take it and put it right down here and get my snowman. And I want him to be kind of sticky, so I'm going to put that right down there. And now we're done with this little guy. So I like to take my stuff off and put it away right away so I don't lose it. Otherwise, I'm looking for them all over the place because they are so sticky, they'll go everywhere. And while I have this out, we're going to take this Merry Christmas. We're going to get that right on here as well. Line it up. And I'm just going to take the back side. And I'm going to do this in the black as well. And there we go. So now, we're going to clean both of these up. Put them away. And let me know in the comments below if you've started your uh, Christmas cards yet. Or do you still send out Christmas cards? You know, sometimes uh, it's just a thing of the past now. So I've learned that. But people still love getting my handmade cards. So I will continue sending them. So there we go. And now I can just put that away because I know everything is in there. And I'm going to put this one back away. So thank you guys so much for being patient and just crafting along with me. All right. So we are back to that little hat again. So now I'm going to take this hat and we are going to, um, let me see, get our paper snips out. What did I do? Here he is. <laughs> We're just going to cut this little guy out. We're going to cut him right around into that black area. You can even cut like right on the black line. So you don't want to really, you want to do it as close to that black line or on the black line as you can because whatever you cut is going to not have the color. So I'm just cutting this guy out here. And so I'm going to try and get some more cards for you, work in some crafts as well. I'm finally um, back home from traveling again. I didn't get to do any um, shopping or anything like that because I. Um, had gone out of town on last minute but everything's good so let's go ahead and do masking and this is um, an old but faithful technique we're just gonna stick this right on here okay so we perfectly go over that line 
And now let's get that hat. We're going to ink that up again with this memento ink. And we're going to place his hat. Did I do that right? I think I I think I did this wrong. <laughs> I did. This is going to put his hat in his back. What I should have done was inked up the back. But that's okay. We're just going to going to show you how to mask but his hat's going to be black so that'll cover it up but what I would have wanted to do was actually put the hat on first and then ink up the snowman oh goodness see this is why I don't edit because you need to know the little goofs and the way to fix it so we goof that one up but that's okay we put that right there and when we color him He's going to be just fine. So I'm putting this little guy away. And now we are going to stick this back over here. Whoop. There you go. And then we're going to do the hat as well because we want to make sure the hat doesn't get colored in, but we want to color in the background. So once you get these masks uh, cut out, you can save them. Just stick them in the box with your stamps, and then you only have to cut them out one time. There you go. Again, these little pieces, you don't want them to be there. Any outside pieces, because if there's outside pieces, that's pieces that are going to get not going to get colored when you add your color. So here we go. We're going to put that one right over the hat. And now, let's do a little bit of coloring on here. I think we're done with the memento. I'm just going to get some of these little makeup brushes. This is literally just a makeup brush or you could use a dauber or you could use a sponge. Whatever you choose. And I'm going to use some balmy blue. Now I don't want to color anything outside these lines so I'm going to go right back to my, uh, what are these called, post-it notes, and we're going to put these all the way around. I mean, we are definitely masking today. And mask all the way, you want everything covered. And again, you can use these over and over again. And I'm going off of the I'm staying on the black line, but I'm going off of the paper so that it is all colored. And this one's a little wonky, but that's okay. We just stick it right on there. You can also use like frog tape will work. Painter's tape will work. And then we're also going to go right along the bottom and right along the top. Now, go ahead and do this right here, but I'm also going to do another one, and I'll show you that in just a moment. He's not going to be sitting on nothing. He needs to be sitting on some snow. So we're going to go ahead and give him snow. So I'm going to take this. 
and either tear or cut just like that and look at that we've given him some snow to be sitting on right so now we've <laughs> we've gotten all that taken care of and we're gonna just take this with some balmy blue and just start off because you don't want it to be too dark okay we're going to start off the page and just kind of work it and it doesn't look like anything's happening but it is and you'll see momentarily that this is happening here and don't be afraid just go right on over that sticky part go around the edges a little bit darker and there is enough ink on here that you could just keep on going at this point again right around the edges into that snowy area And I know it looks like it's taken forever and it won't take you as long I'm just trying to do some instructions and everything along the way we're gonna do a little bit more in the corners here and when I take this off we should be good let's see do we have snow we have snow and then when we take these off We are going to have a nice background. And again, save these, especially if you're doing a lot of projects. And then especially the so snowman. Again, I just take the snowman, see there? And I leave them right there. And you can see I've used this one multiple times. So, and look at that, guys. How pretty. Now we've got that. And I'm going to go ahead. We're just going to do a little bit of coloring here. I'm going to take a really, really, um, let's see, a little bit of a light gray and just kind of give them a little bit of a So it looks like kind of a shadow there. And if you think that's a little too dark, this one is a very light gray granite. You can always take your color lifter and remove some of that color or better yet blend it in as well. And you'll see that start to blend in and lighten up here. Okay. And I'm not done with the snow yet. We're actually going to add some snow on here. 
but let's go ahead and work with this. We're going to color his hat. Remember I said it was going to be a black. We're going to take the blender pen here. Color him in. And then when I put this black down here, it should cover all of that. So there's the light, and then I'm just going to go in with that dark. And give the corners of his hat a little darkness there as well. There we go. And now let's color in the leaves here of the little poinsettia that's in his hat. And then we're going to give, and this was old olive, I just used the light one there. And we'll color these little guys in. And I think what I'll do, so I'm going to take some Daffodil Delight and we will give him a little yellow brim there. There's one little piece of his hat that I missed. All right, there we go. I'm going to take a marker, just the Stampin' Right marker, and we're going to give his nose a little bit of a mango melody there. So cute. And what else did we want to do? See how this lightened up? there. Really cute. Alright, I'm going to take that's not what I'm going to take. I'm going to take this guy. This is the Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. And we are going to give him some puff. So this is, if you haven't seen this, we're going to give him a lot of just right around the top here, right here, and then with that gray, we're still going to put it around here and across. We're just wiggling it back and forth here. Now, what? I don't see anything, right? Well, we're going to take our heat tool. Whoop. And let's see if we can bring that closer. And you'll be able to just watch this. And you'll see it just start to puff up. Might take a little while. See it puffing over here. Starting to get ourselves some snow. Let me see if I could do it under the bottom. It might help a little bit more for you to see. See that puffing up there? I love it. It's so much fun to watch this happen.
That was fun. So I'm going to just finish this off here. When you think you're done, you're not done. Just keep on going. And then that snow is, I mean, it is done completely. All right, we've got that. Now we just need to mount it on here. And we've got our first Christmas card. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna get some, uh, let's see, some of these little guys here. And of course we're gonna get our uh, dimensionals and because we worked with heat I'm going to put a lot on here because I want it to make sure that it stays nice and flat there we go and we're just going to take these right off sometimes is the hardest part for me. And I think we've got the last two now. Remember I've given myself a quarter of an inch so it's going to leave an eighth of an inch all the way around. And now, let's just give them a little bit of snow with these little noble peacocks coming down. There we go. What do you think? Let me know. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more cards, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you wanted to purchase anything today that you saw here, you can go to my site, jeanpiersani.stampinup.net. Make sure you use your hostess code. It's E76ZWBN7. All right, beauties. I hope you like this card. I think it's super fun. And I will talk to you later. Bye.